think you know what deer herds are doing, but you don't really know until you put the colors out there and see it firsthand with these movements. Nope. We're up on Cedar Mountain here in southwest Wyoming, and we're going out and retrieving radio collars off of mule deer does. These 15 GPS collars are actually programmed to fall off of the deer at a certain time, and we get a pilot to fly and find out where exactly those collars are at within probably a half a mile or so, and then we'll go on the ground and try to figure out with radio telemetry equipment where they're at so we can pick them up. And there's a little switch in the collar that senses motion. So after six hours, if there's no motion, it switches to this 120 beats per minute. Normally it'd be 60 beats per minute. So I can tell just by listening to this collar that the collar's on the ground and hasn't moved in six hours. and we need to retrieve these collars because they have a GPS unit on board and that GPS unit takes a location of where these does are at every six hours the whole time that they're out there so four times a day we know exactly where these deer are living so we try really really hard to get these picked up and if people find these collars out in the field we really want them to, to bring them in for us so we can get this information it's really important about two years ago, the local sportsman's group out of Rock Springs, the Muley Fanatics, they put up $30,000 to get this program started. And we also had Bow Hunters of Wyoming and Animal Damage Management Board and then Wyoming Game of Fish all went together to put this project on the ground. It's hard to get these projects started, so you need those other partners. And we got volunteers and used helicopters to drive net deer and capture them, put collars on. We also did some net gunning from helicopters. Yep. The results of this study will really help out with mule deer herds. We'll be able to use this information in a lot of our programs. When we're setting hunting seasons, this will help us to determine when to set seasons based on when deer are moving in and out of uh, crucial ranges. It really helps us to identify key places where they're crossing the highway to try to minimize highway collisions and, and protect mule deer. We can do a lot of habitat stuff uh, pinpointed on where these deer are spending their time. A lot of these studies are used for 10 to 20 years afterwards and that's why it's worth putting the investment into these studies because you'll use them long term. In fact we've already started implementing that data because we get a small amount of data just following these deer around from the ground and, and we'll fly them a couple times a year and we've learned an immense amount from that already. We've already started some really intensive predator control treatments on the fawning ranges we identified and we've partnered up with the Animal Damage Management Board and the local Uinta County Predator Board and we've got a really good working relationship to use the best science available to implement our predator control programs to benefit mule deer. And this has actually changed our thinking quite a bit on some of these deer movements. So we've got a, a really distinct east-west migration here. We've got deer moving a lot further to winter range than we thought. And we'll just be able to fine tune that even more when we get this GPS information processed.